Hi there, it's Thursday the 25th of January. Uh, this is Cancer Update 101. So welcome to my channel, Paul in Perth. Uh, today's shirt is the Leonardo da Vinci um, body, but of course this guy's um, got a, is a guitar or a bass? It's a guitar, because it's got six strings. Um, so there's that. So new since last week, so we'll start with my weight. So I'll move over to this side. So there you can see how the weight is going. And actually, as it turns out, I've lost a tiny amount of weight, 300 grams, I think it is, since last week. Um, so that's, you know, I'm, I'm stable. Uh, I do feel like my appetite is coming back though. So I'll pay particular attention this week to, um, to eating more and eating more foods with higher calories. So I feel like that's, that side of things is going okay. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, in terms of um, things that are going well, I'm getting a lot more used to the colostomy bag. Um, I've watched a lot of those videos that you've um, recommended to me. And as it turns out, there's actually a couple of people um, through Caroline that use a colostomy bag. And um, they have given me some tips and the best tip that I got recently was the squirt bottle. So for those of you that do or don't use a colostomy bag, um, you, you reuse the bag. Uh, there, there are some bags that you reuse. There's also some you don't. For the ones that you do reuse, um, resealing them or cleaning them or whatever um, is or can be a dirty business. And it had been a dirty business for me up until I did up until I worked out how to use the squirt bottle. And because I was resenting that so much, I was hating the whole experience. So it's, <clears throat> it's been great that um, <clears throat> I found out um, one of Caroline, someone in Caroline's family who has a colostomy bag was using an old um, tomato sauce um, bottle and was, they would empty it and then squirt in water and then back, backwash it and then drain it out. <clears throat> And I've started doing that, and it actually not only turns out to be quite easy, uh, it gets a really good result. It, it does make you feel, you end up leaving the bathroom feeling like you're clean, whereas before I wasn't really feeling like I was clean. And, I, and, and that sort of gross feeling carries on with you. So, um, so that, that leads to you resenting your, your colostomy bag. I also, also think part of it is what the lady from the um, Ostomy Association said, which is that I, the colostomy bag um, works for me. I don't work for the colostomy bag. So you have to take control of it and you have to own it. And n now that I am owning it, and now that I've found these, um, the, the tip with rinsing out the bag, also the tip with the, um, the charcoal pellets to um, get rid of the odor, I feel like I, I, I'm now okay with it. I've made peace with my colostomy bag. Um, I'm, I'm fine with it. And I do remind myself that w when I used to go to the toilet like a normal person, um, w wiping your bottom isn't always fun. And, um, and sometimes you get an itchy butt or, or sometimes you, you know, get a, a stain on your underpants or whatever. So there are a whole bunch of issues that I just no longer get. So um, there are some advantages as well. And um, hold on, Caroline just wants a tissue box. You better come over here and say hello, seeing as you've, you've made yourself known. So there's Caroline. Hello, I've got a cold. Oh yeah, Caroline's got a cold, um, so she needed the tissue box. Uh, so that's the colostomy bags, so that's the good news. Um, the bad news is I've start my peripheral neuropathy is getting quite bad. And I got in contact with my original oncologist yesterday and he has, expressed the opinion that it is due to the oxaliplatin from the six sessions that I had. And bear in mind, six sessions is pretty much the bare minimum number of sessions you can have. That's only three months of treatment. Most people have um, 12 treatments over six months. And what has happened, in his opinion, is that the nerve, I've done nerve damage, um, or the oxaliplatin has um, damaged my nerves um, in my feet, in my feet and hands in particular, and I'm expressing that now. And he, he's expressed that it's 18, 12 to 18 months minimum before that feeling will go away. 
I, this morning I had a meeting with pmppals.net. Uh, we had a Zoom call and one of the ladies in there indicated that her husband has had peripheral neuropathy from Axelli Platon. He's had it for five years and it hasn't gone away. So um, this is quite a concern for me. I'm going to be seeing my GP this afternoon and um, I'm going to talk to them about, there's a drug called gabapentin um, that's sometimes used for treating um, this type of neuro, um, neuropathy. So I'll see whether my GP thinks that gabapentin might help and if it does, I'll obviously try it. Uh, failing that, there is a treatment known as scrambler therapy. Uh, I've found there is a place in Perth that offers it. I've rung them and asked them how much it is for the therapy and it's $300 for the initial consult and then $400 per treatment and you need at least 10 treatments. So that means it's at least $4,300. Um, and there's no guarantee that it's it's going to work. And if it does work, it's not permanent. It, it does fade away o over time. So I'm very, very curious to know whether anyone watching this video has had scrambler therapy. And if so, how did it go for you? Because if it went well for you, then I'll find a way to get the money. So yeah, scrambler therapy, Please, please let me know if you've um, uh, if you've used it and how it went for you. And also, if you've used gabapentin um, after after chemotherapy and after getting peripheral neuropathy, I'd be curious to hear about that as well. Today's um, got one other thing that's happening um, apart from me visiting the doctor, which is that I'm I'm today marks ninety days since my operation, which means today is the day where they take their first um, blood sample to check my tumour markers. So you'll remember from before I had um, my CEA and my CA199 um, stats all graphed out. What I'm gonna do is, once I've got today's results, I'll do a comparison between um, how it was when I was very heavily loaded up with um, tumour and how I am now. And we'll, we'll try and work out um, well, we'll just see how that works out and I'll, I'll be curious to take, um, to, to hear your comments from people that have been in similar situations and um, yeah, and just see how that goes. So um, I'll probably cut away to um, me at the waiting room at um, Fiona Stanley Hospital. So here we go. So here we are, we're on our way to Fiona Stanley Hospital. I've got the glorious Cassie doing the driving. Do you want to say hi? There you go. All right. We're still going there. So I've arrived at Path West and here we go for the blood collection. Okay, so my bloods have now been taken and I'm on my way home. <laughs> Hi there. So I'm back from Fiona Stanley Hospital now, having had my blood taken. I'm also back from the um, my GP. So I was going there to try and get a, um, <coughs> a drug called gabapentin because I'd heard that that helps with um, neuro neuropathic pain or well, peripheral neuropathy from... Um, uh, exposure to oxaliplatin. It turns out that particular drug is not on the, the pharmaceutical benefit scheme, um, but another one called pregabalin, which is that one there, um, is on the um, scheme. And my doctor is telling me that they act the same way. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not, uh, but I'm on pregabalin now to see if that gets rid of the neuropathy or the, um, the peripheral neuro neuropathy. So if you've either used um, gabapentin or pregabalin to um to treat neuropathy from um the chemo drugs particularly oxaliplatin could you please comment below and let me know how that went for you because I'm, I'm really curious to hear um, now the other thing i want to talk about was in the last in cancer update 100 i talked about a job that i'd applied for so um sadly i must report that i didn't hear back from them um, i was evidently taken off the short list and, um, and not, not given a face-to-face -face interview. And I have to acknowledge that um, upon reflection, I'm probably not ready to go back to, um, to 20 hours of, um, of work where I would be going on sites and walking around and um, potentially in quite hot, dry environments out in the West Australian bush. I may have actually found that quite challenging and I suspect that they 
uh, recognised that and that's why they excluded me. And, and that's fine, that's okay. Um, so, so that's what's happened there. So I didn't, I didn't, get, I didn't get a face-to-face -face interview. So that's all I've got for now. So um, please click that care button. It helps me when you click the care button and um, gets a wider audience for us. So, so that's good. And thanks a lot from Paul in Perth. I'll see you later. And just as a quick postscript, um, Jane, the card that you sent me that looks like that uh, arrived as a redirection from Bazina House today. So I have received it. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. See you later. Bye.